Takichi and Sanku are vastly different kinds of intelligent characters in anime. Sanku focuses on his understanding of science and Takichi focuses on his strategies to best others. So which will be able to overcome the other in the other areas? Let's find out! The first section is spatial and the first category is observation of materials. This is close as both characters see the potential in the objects around them but Sanku seems to notice them a little more often and see how they can be used to more specific degrees. Sanku takes this with hard difficulty. Next is observation of space. Senku isn't really anything special here in this category while Takachi uses his available space all the time in the sport of baseball making good use of it such as noticing an opposing team player not paying attention to where they were running. Takachi takes this with medium difficulty. Last is puzzle solving. This is really close between them as Senku actually forms pretty decent planning using available space and materials while Takachi knows exactly how to maneuver his way to winning. Takichi seems to barely take this one as he forms slightly more complex puzzle-solving skills than Sanku does, taking this with hard difficulty. Takichi won more points so he will be taking the overall points of 22 and Sanku with 4. Next is intrapersonal and this is extremely close but overall it seems to favor Takichi. Takichi knows exactly what he intends and he knows exactly what he is going to do where Sanku has contemplated and contradicted himself at times. Similarly it could be said that Sanku understands his limitations and knowledge just as much if not more so than Takachi, but Takachi doesn't overlook anything, where Sanku has only to later realize something. It's not necessarily about the amount of knowledge a character has, but how they understand what they know, which Takachi knows himself a little better than Sanku does. Takachi adapts under the circumstances quicker where Sanku would take months and if forced to adapt quickly is usually trapped briefly. Takachi keeps his emotions in check better as well. Sanku keeps control of his emotions fairly well but he does doubt himself sometimes. Takichi takes these with hard difficulty giving him the total points of 24 points and Sanku with 0. Next is linguistics and the first category is knowing what you want to be said or what needs to be said. This favors Takichi who picks topics or phrasing to make his opponents take certain actions or respond in certain ways where Sanku can do this too. He's not as aware of it as Takichi is. Takichi takes this with medium difficulty. Next is knowing the order of things to be said. This seems to favor Sanku as often has to explain instructions on how things should be done to his friends so they can better help him and they never seem to have trouble understanding him and are able to follow his instructions fairly well where Takichi doesn't really do this often unless his teammates ask him what he's planning. Sanku takes this with medium difficulty. Last is knowing what words to best describe what you want to say. This is hard to tell but it seems to favor Sanku actually as he specifically describes things in a way to which people who never heard of what he was saying could. Understanding what he was talking about where Takuchi never really shows this beyond being asked of his intentions. Sanku takes this with medium difficulty. Surprisingly despite Takuchi being the better manipulator, Sanku took more linguistic points giving him the total points of 17 and Takuchi with 5 points. Next is bodily kinesthetics and this fairly obviously goes to Takuchi. Takuchi might not be the most physically impressive all-around person but he knows what he's doing with his body control even when he's not particularly good at what he's doing where Sanku doesn't really display any physical intelligence with his body. Takuchi takes this with easy difficulty giving him the overall points of 21 and Sanku with 0. Next is interpersonal and this all fairly goes to Takachi who displays better understandings of what his opponent's intentions are and what actions they'll take. He uses their limitations and knowledge against them more effectively than Sanku does. Takachi tails these with medium difficulty giving him the total points of 32 points and Sanku with 0. Next is existential and this easily favors Sanku who actually shows a level of self-contemplation on both himself and the world, while Takachi is not displayed with such a thing. Sanku takes this with easy difficulty giving him the total points of 14 points and Takachi with a zero. Next is logical and the first category is gathering of information. This favors Sanku who is more efficiently able to learn about his opponent's strengths and weaknesses with the information he's gathered while Takachi can do fairly well. He's more of person to inflict his will on others before understanding them as well as not being as impressive when the other person gathered all the information on science. Sanku takes this with medium difficulty. Next is deductions of information. This is extremely close as Sanku was able to deduce possibilities for why the earth turned to stone as well he clearly shows deductive capabilities from his understanding of science. 
The very fact he knows so much about science proves an extremely high level of deductive capabilities. Takichi also shows this really well too. Able to understand what is possible and predict and plan for many different circumstances because of his understanding of gambling and the sports he plays. Able to deduce intentions and plans his opponents might try. However this overall seems to favor Sanku who might not be the greatest at deducing others' intentions, is still fairly good at it as well as being able to deduce other things within the elements. Sanku takes this with hard difficulty. Last is how the information is used. This is also really close and Sanku is able to use all this information to create plans and inventions that help him outmaneuver other more physically powerful opponents while Takachi is also a brilliant planner, able to plan far ahead of his opponents. So Sanku makes better use of science and his plans but Takachi makes more complex plans. Sanku in the end is still using information he learned where Takachi is inventing his own plans basically on the spot. So this seems to favor Takachi who takes this with hard difficulty. Sanku won more points so he will take the overall points of 26 points and Takachi with 6 points. Next is musical and this fairly goes to Takachi who was able to notice the beat of a drum occurred in certain patterns of sound during certain moments during the game which he concluded was a secret message. Sanku on the other hand doesn't really display this all that much within his series not nearly on the same level as Takachi does. Takachi takes this with easy difficulty giving him the total points of 23 and Sanku with 0. The last section is naturalist and the first two categories easily go to Sanku for his understanding of elements and how they work together, taking them with easy difficulty. Tamachi takes understanding animal nature as he often incorporates how human nature works in his planning, knowing how greedy or prideful some people are which allows him to outmaneuver his opponents. Takachi takes this with medium difficulty. Sanku won more points so he takes the overall points of 23 and Takachi with 5 points. This was an extremely interesting intelligence comparison between two vastly different kinds of intelligent characters. In the end Sanku gathered 84 points while Takachi gathered 138 points. Takachi is simply a more well-rounded character than Sanku is who is really only extremely better than Takachi at one thing where Takachi is a lot better than Sanku at a lot of things. Sanku would barely edge out Takachi but Takachi would usually dominate certain categories over Sanku. Takachi simply put is more well-rounded which let him cover more over Sanku's one extreme advantage, allowing Takachi to be more useful in more scenarios. Takachi won so he will be moving to the next round. What did you think of this video? Do you agree with the results or do you think there's a different conclusion to be made from it? Let me know what you think in the comments.